Hi everyone, this is Mr. West. Today we're gonna to be doing an order of operations worksheet from Math Drills. So this is from mathdrills.com. There will be a link in the description below. Make sure to check it out. Some prerequisite information you'll need for this. So if you look at this, and this is your first time seeing order of, order of operations, this might be a little uh, intimidating. However, if we break it down to some things, if you've been introduced to these topics before, it's not so bad. So order of operations means we have to follow a certain order. You wouldn't get your jacket on without having a shirt on first. You wouldn't cook an egg without first turning on the stove, just like you wouldn't do these math problems by first doing parentheses. So for parentheses is always the first step. Okay, so parentheses is always number one. And number two, we're gonna be doing exponents. I'm gonna talk about that in a little bit. And then multiplication and division, they go uh, together, really. It's not that multiplication always goes before division. You just need to go left to right with either multiplication division in the order that you see it. And same thing with addition or subtraction. You go left to right, but technically they do go together. Okay, so that's a breakdown of order of operations. Some things you'll need to know for this. Exponents, that's really just repeated multiplication. So two to the fourth power means two times itself, and that, little, that means multiplication, times itself four times. So this would be two times two times two times two. That would be 16. Okay, just as clarification, and then some of your multiplication and division rules, if you have a negative times a negative, that's gonna be a positive, that's a big misconception. Positive times negative is gonna be negative, and also a negative times a positive is gonna be negative. Okay, so that's just some background. Now let's get into the problems. So we have this first problem here, negative five to the second power minus two times negative nine plus six. Write down your order of operations right away. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. So the first thing we're gonna look for is multiplication. And as you can see, inside both parentheses, there's really nothing to do. We just see a negative five and a negative nine. So really we're done with uh, parentheses. There's not, nothing more we can do. So the next thing we're gonna look for is we're gonna look for exponents. So what are the exponents here? Well, we have a second power there, and that's it. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. Now, be careful. Haven't talked about this in my particular class, uh, but, when we have a negative number to the second power, what does that mean? We have negative five, and that means times itself twice, negative five times negative five, okay? So this is what we are essentially doing. Now, show each step. Do not do this in your head, okay? I'm gonna repeat, show every step. That's the key to being a good math student, is showing every step. That's, you make a lot fewer mistakes that way. Yes, I get it, it takes more time, your hand will get some muscle if you do this, okay? Don't just ignore it, okay? So we have negative five times negative five. This is a positive 25, okay? And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rewrite everything else that I see, okay? So I did one step and now I'm gonna rewrite everything else that I see, but I'm done with another one. Now I have multiplication and division. Those two go together. So I'm gonna look for anywhere I have a multiplication that's here and I think that's the only one. So that's the only one we can do. We are gonna multiply two times a negative nine, okay? So two times negative nine, that gives us a negative 18. So we have negative 18 here. That's the result of that multiplication. We're done with multiplication division. There's no division. Then we have 25 minus that negative 18 plus six, okay? So then, this is a big alert. If you have subtracting a negative here, it really turns it into a plus. So we have 25 plus 18, okay, plus six. So that was kind of an addition and subtraction problem right there, that blue, okay, but we wanna make sure we simplify that before doing our addition and subtraction, so let's rewind. Now we have only addition left, 25 plus 18, I believe that's 43 plus six is gonna give us 49 as our answer, okay? So that's a breakdown of how to do the first one. Let me go do another one. Actually, I'm gonna do one of the tougher ones. I'm gonna go over here to this problem. We're gonna do this one and this one for sure, okay? Might do a couple more, we'll see how we're doing on time. So let's start with this one, okay? We have uh, parentheses, okay? Again, in parentheses, we can't, let me just copy and paste this so we can work with it, copy, Pace, this is Notability, great program, not a sponsor yet, really hoping to make them one, maybe one day. That's how I know I made it. So I have parentheses here, parentheses, there's nothing to do inside here and here, 
Okay, it's just a negative nine and negative eight, nothing to add or subtract or exponents. So we're just gonna cross that one off. Now we're moving on to exponents. There's only one exponent and it's there. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. We're gonna take this exponent and that's really four times four. Okay, that means that equals 16. See how I write that? And now I'm writing down everything else as it was in the original problem, okay? That's probably gonna be the annoying part for a lot of you, but it makes it very effective in terms of getting answers correct because you're not gonna make as many mistakes by copying it down. Now, I'm done with exponents. I'm gonna do multiplication division. I do have multiplication here, but no division. So I'm gonna multiply two times 16, and that gives me 32. I'm gonna copy everything else down. Minus negative nine, there I am. Okay, so now I have only addition and subtraction left. As you probably, well, let me cross this off. As you probably noticed from the previous problem, anytime I see this guy, okay, I'm using a lot of colors in this one, I'm gonna change that to plus. So really this is negative nine plus eight plus 32. Okay, this is where your integer practice really comes in handy for problems like this. So now I have my final step. Notice how I'm having, I had kind of one line there. That one, I guess, doesn't really count. You could have just wrote from here to 16 if you know it well. But really I have one, okay, two, three, and I'm gonna end up with four lines of work. So I have negative nine plus eight. That's negative one plus 32 is gonna give, give me 31 as my answer, okay? So it took me line by line. This one was really one, two, three, four, okay? I think this is specifically a four-step order of operations uh, worksheet, so that's where that comes into play. All right, here's one with a different power than squared, okay? This one's a little tougher. Again, we're gonna do parentheses. If I, I think I may have it pasted already. There we go. Just need to erase the extra stuff. Okay, parentheses. Nothing to do inside the parentheses, no addition or subtraction. There might be some, I'll look for those, but nothing in this one. Now we have exponents. This one's tricky, and I haven't talked about this in my class yet, another thing I haven't talked about, but we're gonna have a negative three times a negative three times a negative three, because that's number three means we're gonna multiply negative three times itself three times. Well, I know that negative three times negative three gives me a positive nine, but then I still have to multiply it by a negative three. 9 times a negative 3 gives me a negative 27. So all of that work just gave me a negative 27. So all of this led to that number right there. And again, what am I going to do after that? I'm going to copy down everything else that was in the problem. So negative 2 or minus 2 plus 8 divided by negative 8. Okay, so what's next? I'm done with exponents. I'm on to multiplication division as I see it left to right. I don't see any multiplication, but I see division. What division do I see? I see eight divided by negative eight. If you wanna write it as a fraction, you could write it eight divided by negative eight. Well, we know basically the problem is saying, okay, eight, okay, something times eight gives us negative eight, okay? Or negative eight times something gives us eight. Negative eight times something gives us positive eight. Well, we know eight divided by eight is one, okay? Eight divided by eight divided by eight we know is one. So if it's a negative, it's just gonna make it a negative at the end. So this is negative one, okay? I kinda of went a long way of talking about that, but that's what it is. And I'm just gonna rewrite everything else again. Negative 27 minus two. And this time, this plus, oops, this eight divided by negative eight just became negative one, so I can bump this guy over. Okay, and now I have 20, negative 27 minus two minus three, that gives me negative 30. So again, I had really, I guess I'm gonna come, I didn't have as many steps, it looks like one, two, three this time, but it's a little bit more complicated in each one of those steps. I'm gonna see if any parentheses requires any work inside, and there is. I'm gonna do this last problem, which is probably the toughest problem on here. We have a couple things going on, and you can even see we have some double parentheses. So this is a tough problem, because we have these outer parentheses here. As I paste my order here, let me erase this. Okay, I have double parentheses. So I highlighted this in blue, and you can see I have all these minor parentheses here, but there's nothing to do inside of them. Just leave them alone. 
okay? But this blue parentheses, we do have stuff inside. We have all this stuff in here that we need to do before we handle this on the outside, okay? So let's go ahead and handle this. As you handle parentheses, each parentheses, you're gonna have its own order of operations, okay? And then when you get outside the parentheses, you're gonna repeat order of operations. So it's a pretty extensive process if you have multiple parentheses like this. Okay, so we have 10 divided by negative five, okay, minus a negative two. We're gonna start with, well, there's no exponents in, in this parenthesis, okay, but we do have division, okay? So we're gonna have division, we're gonna start with that. 10 divided by negative five, that gives us a negative two. 10 divided by five equals two, that's a nasty sign. But if it's a negative five, that's gonna make it a negative two. It's the same rule. If we have uh, positive divided by positive, it's gonna be a positive. Positive divided by a negative, it's gonna be negative. Okay, it's the same rules as multiplication. Negative divided by negative equals a positive and so forth, okay? So uh, pause it if you wanna jot that down, but I'm gonna erase it because it's looking like clutter. Okay, you might have to rewind in case you wanted to copy it down. Sorry. All right, moving on. So we have negative two is the result of that, and I'm copy everything else down after that. So I still have these parentheses. I'm gonna copy the parentheses down because I'm not finished with them yet. Okay, all those parentheses, and I still have outside, I still have the times negative three cubed. Okay, extensive problem here. Now, negative two minus a negative two. So we got a couple things going on, but since we have this minus a negative, we're gonna change that to plus. That becomes negative two plus two, okay, times negative three cubed, okay? I keep it the same. Now I have a, this parenthesis I'm still working on. I'm not even done with this first parenthesis yet, but I had to do order of operation within that parenthesis. Now I'm down to addition and subtraction, and I'm gonna do negative two plus two, that gives me zero, and it looks like this. Now, I don't need parentheses anymore, at least here. So I have zero times negative three cubed. Technically, what we should do next is repeat the process all over. Do I have parentheses? Well, nothing to do inside the parentheses, but I do have exponents, okay? So I like actually like to keep that because we just know we're gonna be multiplying negative three times itself three times. So I have negative three times negative three times negative three, and that equals negative 27. We showed that in the problem before. That equals negative 27. So negative 27 is negative three to the third power. And now I'm on to my last step, which is multiplication. Okay, as I get rid of stuff, my daughter's chipping in here. We have zero times negative 27 is zero. And that's all that there is to this math drills worksheet. The rest should be a little bit easier. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a comment if you need another topic covered. And I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best. Better go tend to my daughter.